so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my NARS blush swatch slash collection video. Um, hopefully this got, helps hopefully this helps you guys decide like which blush you want to use or if there's any you want to try. Um, yeah, so let's jump straight into it. I've got 10 blushes in total. I have four normal blushes. I have two limited edition, two highlighting blushes and two dual intensity blushes. Let's go. Okay, so first up I'm going from like lightest to most colourful, if that makes sense. So, let's start off with this, is this shade Silent Nude. It is my limited edition one and it is from the NARS Times Christopher Kane uh, collection. And it's described on the website as soft beige. There's really not much to see with this swatch because it doesn't really show up on your face unless you already have something about under it or if you're really pale so if you're really really pale and you just want like a really warm tone blush this is for you on me it doesn't look like much unless i have something underneath it it's still quite a pretty color when i'm not tanned also please excuse my fake tan arm if you can see it i had a bit of a mess up that's it there it's just a soft beige color so that's that one next up we have luster this is luster it's described as Sheer golden apricot. I'll give it that. Hopefully you can see it. It's not like a super pigmented blush, but it's it's just pretty. I'll layer it up so you can definitely see the colour. That's it there, next to Silent Moon. Um, yeah, it's just like a light sort of apricot colour with like a golden shimmer in it. It it looks glittery in the pan, but it's not. It's just a nice shimmer colour. Again, it's really nice if you just want something to warm your face up, or if you've got a bronzer on, or anything like that, like it just sort of adds to the colour of it all, so, luster. Next up we have Lovejoy, which is Shimmering Bronzed Rose, which, yeah, it's a, it sort of comes off more of like a brown on your face, but when I swatch it, it's more of like a, like a really dull rose sort of colour, and like, it's not too glittery, it looks really glittery in the pan itself, which I don't know if you can see it sort of like reflecting off my stuff, but, like, when I swatch it, it's just, it's sort of more of a glow than anything. It's not really like glitter on your face. So again, that's Lovejoy. Next up we have Taos. Ta Taos? I think it's Taos. Don't kill me for not pronouncing it properly. It is described as Desert Rose with Shimmer. Whatever Desert Rose is. But I really like this. It's a really nice blush for autumn, fall if you're not Australian and winter. We've just finished winter here in Australia so this is why I bought it. I bought it a couple of months ago and it's just really pretty. You do have to be careful what you match it with though because if you're wearing like purples you might want to give this one a miss unless you can apply it really lightly. You just sort of like, I don't have a brush on here at the moment but you, when, you, when I apply this one I just sort of put it on, I dust it, like tap it on my wrist a couple of times and then I put it on so it's not like Whoa, on my face. This one looks kind of glittery as well, but it's more of a shimmer than a glitter, and it's quite pretty. As you can see, that's it there. I personally think this one is just a brighter version of Lovejoy. Like, they're both rose colours. Well, let's blush on my hand. I really like that one. Next up is Gina. It's this one here. It's described as a true tangerine on the side. I don't know if I agree with that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's definitely got like an orange sort of tone to it, but it has a bit of pink in there too, so I wouldn't really say it's a true tangerine. It's more of like a coral kind of colour, but this is the first um, actual blush I ever got. The first NARS product I ever bought was Albatross, which you'll see soon, but I love this. It's so pretty. It's like my go-to blush if I have no idea what to put on my face. Like It's just a natural, flushy, flushy. And it's just... It's just nice. It suits lots of people. This was the first one I, that was recommended to me. I said, I just sort of said to her, like, I don't really wear blush much, but I sort of want to get into it. This is what I came out with, and it's beautiful. So that's Gina. Last but not least, star skin. It looks terrifying, but it's not. It's actually really pretty. It's sort of what you want to do if you're not feeling great or anything like that which I haven't been lately. I've had the flu since like last, since last Wednesday. And 
yeah, it's just sort of like a nice natural. If you're light-handed with it, it looks like just a natural flush. Like, it's not like a blush. It's just it just sort of adds a bit of color to your face and makes you look healthy, I guess. So this is described as a neon pink on the website, and yeah, it's a neon pink. But it's beautiful. It's my limited edition, so I don't know if you can still get it. But it came from the Christopher um, Kane collection, same as Silent Nude, and. Go clean me up. Color everywhere. It's on my legs. Okay, so next I'm going to show you my I'm going to show you my Jewel Intensity blushes. I have two of them, as I said. Um, but first up is Favor. I don't quite know how to say that, but I'm just going to say Favor. Favor. I want to say Favor. Who knows? I'm just going to say Favor because it's easy to say. I really like this. I mainly bought it for this colour here, which you'll see why when I swatch it because it is beautiful. It's described as, this one here is described as shimmering soft pink and this is sparkling deep coppery rose. I want to agree with them and say that it's copper but I'm not 100% sure. It's not what I think of when I think of copper. Anyway, I'll swatch this for you. So this is the sparkling, nope, shimmering soft pink. And this is the sparkling deep coppery rose. Look at that. <sighs> just, just take that in. They're so like beautiful. Like, like all Mars blushes are pigmented. But these just are a whole nother level. I bought this one because I wanted something like deeper, deeper than Taos. Um, and this has quite like a deep tone to it. But Again, be really light-handed with it though, or you'll end up looking like a clown, but it's just so pretty. I love it. Perfect winter blush for all you Americans out there. Yes. On to my second one. This is Frenzy, and it is described as a sparkling soft pink gold highlighter, which is my life, and shimmering bright tangerine orange. See, this is tangerine. I... I I don't think Jean is a true tangerine. I think this is tangerine. So, I'll swatch the highlighter for you first. I've literally put this on my face almost every day since I've bought it. Like, look at how well that pair is like used compared to the other one. And like, the best thing is you can use these wet or dry. So I use like the Mac Fix Plus. You just spray your brush with that and like rub it in here like you would normally to put product on your face. And you put it on and it's like it's wet little highlight it is so beautiful. That's it there. It's so pretty. <laughs> and this one here is the tangerine shade. Love it. It's so pretty. All of these I find have like a metallic-y sort of sheen to them. Like it's not like a glitter or it's not even really a shimmer. It's like a I don't know. They just have like this metallic look about them, and I think it's just the formula of these because, in case you didn't know, these are the same formula as their dual intensity eyeshadows. Like this one for summer, like if you just want something like warm and fun, like, this is your thing. Anyway, that's Frenzy. So, on to my last two. First up, we have Albatross, which everyone knows. It is described as a luminous golden glow. If you look at it there, it looks quite white and ashy, but hold on, I'll blend it out here and you'll see what I mean. But if you blend it out, it like reflex gold, like a champagne. It's like a less intense version of the um, highlighter from Friendly, which I love. It's super pretty. So this is the first product from NARS I ever bought. Aww. I'm pretty sure this one was limited edition, but um, all I know is that you can't buy it anymore, but it never specifically said it was limited edition when I looked at it. But when I got, got it, it had like limited edition kind of packaging on it. It was from the Andy Warhol collection or something. But this is called Satellite of Love. I love this, but I don't like it, if that makes sense. Like, it's so pretty, it's such a nice colour, like, it just ticks all the boxes. But the glitter. This is so glittery. It's described on the website as sparkling gold sand, which, yeah, I should have realised it would be sparkly, I guess, but I didn't think it was going to be this sparkly. I'll swatch a few of you, oh, you'll see what I mean. 
but it's such a pretty color. It's like a... If someone put glitter in Silent Nude, this is what it would look like. But maybe a bit more pigmented. It's raining. See? I don't know if you can see that. It's like a really... Okay, so I don't really know what happened to my camera just then, but... Back to what I was saying. I think it's almost like a rose goldy kind of toned highlight, I guess. Like, you probably can't see it. I'm probably too far away. That's a camera that does an autofocus when you're filming. I really like this. It's really pretty, but the glitter. But the more I blend it out, the more it seems to disperse and become more of a shimmer than a glitter. So maybe you've just got to work it into your face. So, again, okay, that's Satellite of Love. And that's it for my um, NARS blush collection. Um, let me know if you liked it. Like, like, comment, subscribe, you never drill. Um, but yeah. Also, I'm really excited because it's October. And you know what October means. Halloween! I know I'm Australian and we don't celebrate Halloween here, but I just love Halloween. And I know a lot of people don't, but I love all things creepy and crazy and <sighs> my birthday falls on like November 15th, so I always used to have a Halloween party, but it's a couple of weeks late. But oh well, the past couple of years I've gone as um, Marilyn Manson. But yeah, I'm hoping to have a bunch of Halloween tutorials up for you guys because I finish uni in two weeks, but I have a lot of assignments coming up. I have like six, seven, maybe more. It's okay, what can you do? Um, but yeah, once I finish, I'm definitely going to smash out a whole bunch of videos for you guys. I have a Claire Delise, I hope that's how you say her name, inspired Seven Deadly Sins. Um, I have a zombie bite slash infection makeup, which I posted on my Instagram a couple of days ago. If you don't follow me, my link is down below. Also, I'm hoping to do a Halloween collab with one of my friends, Keiku. Love you. So, I don't think I've actually spoken to you about this yet, but you just wait. It's going to be fun. Um, but, yeah, I might even do like my old Marilyn Manson um, tutorial for you, because that's so much fun to do. He's so crazy. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully the next month is going to be filled with lots of videos for you guys because um, I have five months off from uni and absolutely nothing to do with my life so who knows you could have like a video every second day. Anyway that's all from me. Let me know if you like this and please subscribe if you want to see more of my face. Okay bye.